Matthew Melton here and today more info on the Tascam 388. How do you load a tape? You know a lot of people know how to do this but if you're just starting out you might not know and there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the wrong way and this is the way I've always done it. Now ultra audiophile nerds are going to say that's the wrong way that's not the most archival way but you know let's be real in this day and age you're recording a band and it's going straight on to an audio interface and getting captured in a computer. So unless you're recording the white album that you need preserved for all time, I load the tape this way. It goes over the tape lifter, over this roller, across the heads, through the capstan roller, around that tape roller, and around that tape lifter, onto your take-up reel, and pinch it through there, rotate it slightly, and then I just hit play right here, hit play, boom, and then it starts winding it up. So that is basically how you load the tape. And, uh, you know, realistically, if you wanted to preserve this for longer, what people will do is they will first load the tape this way and roll it all onto this reel to where it's it's preserved onto the reel that's on the right. And the theory behind that is, which I believe is correct, but when tape is stored for long periods of time, that is supposed to prevent or reduce bleed through. When the tape is smushed together, that magnetic information that's on the tape is smushed in there. And doing it my way will cause a little bleed through over the course of years you know what i'm saying sometimes not though it depends on the conditions the humidity the all the conditions and how what gauge of tape you're rolling with you know there's 1800 foot seven inch reels 1500 foot so depending on what you're rolling with this is more or less prevalent and you know i don't know all the details i'm not a tape expert but for basic recording this is the way i roll and what you want to do is, uh, so you know, hit stop, and whenever you're at a good point, you hit reset. That marks your zero point right there, and then you're good to start a song. And you always want to have a little bit of tape wound up onto the reel. I'd say a good 30, 45 seconds, because that tape is gonna be the least sonically friendly. Uh, you know, that's going to be the least uh, reliable piece of tape you can record on because that's the end. It's getting handled. It's getting the edge hit and will degrade over heavy usage and over time. So this is the way I roll tape. And uh, you can do it the other way if you want to really hope that those tapes last 100 years. But, you know, I think that the even better way is to, once you record, to digitize those recordings onto your computer so that way it's saved digitally because that'll last a lot longer than some analog tape. But, you know, you want to preserve the analog tapes properly. Put them in a plastic bag, put them back in their box, and have them preserved as best you can. So that's how you load a tape onto the Tascam 388. Thanks for checking this out, and we'll catch up with you next time.